I heard a ring at the door. I wasn't sure who was going to be there, so I carried on having a snooze with my brothers and sisters. All of a sudden, we was lifted from the ground and held in front of two odd-looking men. They seemed friendly enough. At my second glance, I saw the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. Big smiles, full of laughter. I instantly felt at ease. They were asked to choose which one pug they wanted. I had seen my brother leave the day before. This was my time to shine and find my forever home. As we was lifted to the floor, I knew I had to get their attention. I didn't want to act too cute, so I ran around and round as fast as I could, around the beautiful lady sat on the floor. As they decided, my heart was rushing as I wanted to be chosen. The second seemed forever, but deep inside, I knew it had to be me as I looked so damn cute. The final decision was made, and the handsome man, who was now known by the name of Daddy, picked me up. I was so proud, I stood up firmly, chest proud, on my new daddy's knee. I didn't know what my name was back then, but my new family greeted me as Simba. I was so happy and wanted the feeling to last forever. Growing up with my new family was pretty great. I had two homes and a huge family. I travelled a lot, as my family always wanted someone to be by my side. My favourite times were always with my mama. She always took care of me, no matter what. She loved the outdoors, so we travelled around a lot. She's what my daddy would call her a true princess. We walked a lot. I would pretend it was going on a little adventures together as a family. I'd help motivate my daddy as he tired easily. We'd go through the woods. We'd go jumping in the water together. I would give them kisses. We'd hang around with friends. We'd make notes for Daddy and send him pictures. We even went sledging in the snow. Which brings me in time for in my life, when I noticed I was so handsome, it was impossible for people to ignore. When Mum and Dad started to notice, I had to start working for a living. Humiliating outfits became a weekly occurrence. Looking after the house was my main job, as bodyguard, but the long hours made me sleepy. The need to protect my mummy was deep within my heart as she cared for me so much. She always insisted taking me to my favourite spots. Alki Woods, Chaddy Park, we always had the best adventures. She was always by my side and that's the only place I wanted to be. With Daddy at my other side, I was the luckiest pug alive. As I got older, I became more handsome and grew a grey beard. My breath got stinkier, my body got older, but I was always young in my heart. This didn't stop my family loving me any less. If anything, they loved me more. My family was all I lived for. I don't know what I would have done without them, especially the beautiful lady I knew as Mama. Me and Dad, I used to talk about how wonderful she was. He always planned on proposing to her as a team, me, Daddy and I. I am now at peace in heaven by God's side. He is a smart man who says people can learn a lot from dogs. He said that when someone you love walks through the door, even if it happens 10 times a day, you should go totally insane with joy. He has sent me back in spirit to help daddy ask his princess, will she marry him, along with my little brother sent from heaven to look after you.
floats like lemon drops high above the chimney top. That's where you find me, oh, somewhere over the rainbow. Bluebirds fly, and the dream that you did. Like a lemon drops high above the chimney top. That's where.